I'm going to show you how I built this beautiful, cool parallax hero section in Elementor Page Builder for free. In the description, you can find all the images I have used for this video so you can build it yourself. It's actually quite easy to do this. So let me go ahead and show you step by step how I built this from scratch. So please make sure to follow all steps so you don't miss anything. Inside Elementor Editor here, I have only created the header and then I will create a container. Let's just set that container to full width and the height will also be 100 so it fits the screen. All right, then I will put the duration to down and center all content and remove these gaps. Inside style, I will add a background. This will be the stars. I will make uh, the image position center center and set it this to fixed and set no repeat and set this to cover. I will set the height to 100. I, it didn't work before, so but now it does, I can see. And then I'll just place in an image and this will be the moon that you saw before. And as I said in the beginning, you can download this image or all the graphics I have used in this video so you can recreate uh, the entire thing yourself. I'll just go ahead and change the width of uh, this uh, image. Maybe something like this and change this to pixels. All right, I think that's perfect. The opacity of this will be uh, 0.8. And I will set the position to fixed. And then I will set the offset to nothing. I'll just delete the number and this to 80. And the set index, which is very important, would be minus one. All right, so right now the moon is gone, but that's because we don't have a set index on the background, which I will set to one. And then I will go ahead and search for the HTML widget, which also is a free widget. And inside that, we'll insert this code that you can also find in the description. You can cl just click copy over here and it will copy all of the code. And then you'll have to give the entire container a, a class. So I'll just go ahead and find it. It's pretty hard to see here because of the set index, but here it is. So I will scroll down to the classes and give the class, give it the class parallax. And then you can now see if I go ahead and update and refresh the page. You can see as I scroll down, the stars are moving a little bit after I scroll down. So this is also what's called the parallax effect. The next thing is I will add this heading inside as you also saw on the final result. I'll make the color white or actually my bad, this has to be transparent because at, I will just add uh, the text stroke and set it to two pixel and make that white. We will also have to change the, this font to this really cool font and just make this 80 pixels. All right, so we will have to set the position to fixed and down here, you'll have to just remove this so there is no number and then write in here 100 and just write minus one here. All right, let's go ahead and add this subheading and just write something cool that could be rising imagination and then just make it white and maybe change the font size. And then the position would also have to be fixed. And I scroll a bit down and just remove this again. So there is no number. And then change this to 72 and make the set index minus one also. The next thing is that I will just go ahead and find the header and maybe remove the background. This is just a basic header that I made in the beginning because I want the background to be the, the background of the header, if that makes sense. I will just change this layout and maybe put uh, 100 minus 100 up here and uh, at the padding, I will just change to 50. Okay, so you, you will see later why I did that.
Then I will place in an image because now it's time to add in all the layers. I will add the clouds in here and change the image resolution to full and go to advanced and just find the position and set it to absolute. And again here we'll just remove the number so there is no, no number and then write 70 here. I think that's all right. Maybe we could change that later if it's not perfect. Okay, and the next layer is this uh, grass, or actually it's for it's a forest. I'll go ahead and set the image to full resolution and change the set index to 5. Then we'll go ahead and add another image on top. This will be our castle. Where is it here? And the castle will also have an image resolution of full. And then I go to advanced change this uh, position to absolute and remove this again and write 29 and the set index will be 7 and this will also have the class parallax all right so now the next image is um, i'll just find a widget and add the next image which is this and i'll also change this to full image resolution go to advanced again and uh, just change the set index of this one to 8 because it has to be in the front and then another image which will be the trains at the bottom and i'll change it to full resolution again and change the position of this to absolute i'll remove the number here again and change this to 9 and the set index will also be 9 so it's in front of the other Okay, let's just take a look at it in full width and compare it to the final result. As you can see, we are missing some trees over here, so I'll just go back and add this to the image. I'll just place in a new image and do this process again. Just set it to full again and go to advanced and set the position to absolute scroll down and just remove this and hmm, i don't know why but it's not working the proper way maybe this the set index oh, okay so place it at the top and the set index was five so now it's beginning to look like the final result let's just go ahead and compare them again okay i can see that the moon is not the same size so I maybe go ahead and just find the moon inside the navigator and change the width so it's a bit bigger. Maybe something like this. Hmm. Maybe just 950. Then I will click update and reload this. All right, I think that was it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions. I will do my best to answer them in the comments. Bye.